Hi guys. Right, if you're first time coming to the channel, um, please check out my past videos. Loads of different builds, loads of horror themes, Goonies, loads of other stuff, and the Predator build. Please go and check those stuff out. Um, for this one, um, we're going to be redoing my P. Horrenda spine, giant spiny assassin bugs. Um, really cool bugs, but um, because you've got to keep one part of the enclosure quite damp, um, found a bit of mould in there, so we're just going to clean it all out, redo the whole tank. It shows you basic setup for these assassin bugs, and that's it, basically. So, without further ado, let's get on with it. Oh! Alright, so, here's the P Horinda Spunny Assassin Bugs. So, I've noticed down there, a bit of mould. So, what we're going to do, we're going to empty everything out and do a complete redesign. As you can see, Start moving stuff. Loads of adults. A few babies in there so we can harvest the babies out while we're doing it. But yeah, we're just going to do a complete new design. Alright, giving it a good clear out and replaced all the substrate with a try to topsoil and cocoa fibre mix, see if that would be better at um, avoiding so much mould. So next bit will be to add the bits and pieces. Right, so what I've done, taking the skull out, so giving that all the clean and wash. Thing with these uh, assassin bugs, you've got to keep them, keep on top of them. Make sure they're nice and clean in there. Otherwise, they are prone to stinking. So, good housekeeping is the key to owning these bugs. Unless you want a stinky, stinky house. Now they need cork bark or log or anything to because they hang off it to molt. So we'll be adding that. We'll say we've got moss farm that we collected the other day. So we're going to be adding that. These are awesome bugs, but yeah, they do take up a lot, a bit of maintenance. You've got to keep them really nice and clean. But I've harvested tons and tons of babies out of these, so. But what I like to do is because this is a glass enclosure, and obviously I don't want any bugs to climb up to the top. Um, I build my enclosure sort of roughly in the middle so that way everything's away. I don't make a background on it at all. Because you don't want them climbing up, especially not the babies. The adults will be alright because I've got a mesh lid that goes on top. So the adults will be all right. It's just the babies. You don't want them climbing all the way to the top because you don't want them little ones escaping. In these, when you're breeding them, you've got to keep one area, a damp area. Yeah, so what I usually do, as well, I've got the skull there. I usually keep that my damp area. 
okay it's easy to just go in and water that area and then they, they tend to just go in there and lay their eggs rest of it I'm not trying to keep nice and dry that keeps the smell down as well because right. I had loads and loads of bits of cork bark in there before I don't really want to add it all in there so what we're gonna do I'm going to add the assassins bit by bit and then take out any babies that are there. Making sure you can check all your bits of cork bark. Make sure you've got, got them all in the whole crevices and everything before you can put it down and then you get the babies running out. Sort of a couple of bits of cork bark in here. We did the design a little bit. This bit here, which I'm going to sort of add at the front here, that was done for another little enclosure. But I think I had it onto there. Gives it something a little bit different. Right. looking from the front that's kind of fun not sure about that skull though eh? maybe a little bit more like that yeah that's better and then we've got that put the moss round the sides a bit Now to add some more moss and stuff, and then we'll come back. Right, guys, I think I've got to design sort of how I want it. What I've done there, if you see there, there's the water bowl. So what I do is put a bit of cork bark into it, um, into the water, and then um, if any small babies jump in there, they don't drown. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Now it's time to start adding all the assassins back. places they like to hide but usually it's like inside the skull everywhere I managed to get another about 15 babies out yeah that's quite neat as I said you don't want nothing too near the top so the babies can climb out not so much the adults it's just the babies you don't so, and because they can't climb glass, you're all alright. But yes, redone. 
As I said, I keep uh, the moist quite damp, uh, moss quite damp in there. So it gives a chance to grow around and that area in there. That's where they tend to go and lay their eggs anyway. So but hopefully the topsoil cocoa fibre mix will stop it from going as mouldy. Yeah, there we go. If you haven't got any of these bugs, I seriously recommend them. Feeding days are awesome. As you can see, they're all down, hidden away under there. And a few other places. But, that's it. But you do need cork bark or whatever, because they'll hang off it to molt. They hang sort of upside down to molt. But yeah. Let's see, this one is done. Right, finally for the babies, what I'm doing, I've got a little jar here. Not ideal glass, but they won't climb the glass, you see, so this will be ideal. So we've got eight in there, and then another six or so in there. Um, what I do when you harvest them out, make sure you've got a spare glass tank to hand. It's easy when you're harvesting out all your babies. But yeah, just a simple little design. Yeah, keep them in the bottom and then they'll get sold off. Well, I think these are on reserve anyway, but hopefully we'll get some more soon. Right, as you can see, just a little bit of branch, a little bit of cork bark in there, a little bit of moss be fine for them in there. I keep the, just spray the moss so they got something to drink. And then apart from that, you just leave them in there. And then obviously, once they get bigger, just like spiders, you just increase the size of the enclosure. But I always use glass enclosures because I know they're 100% safe that the babies can't climb up to the top. Yeah. All right, guys. All right. Thanks for watching guys, as usual, thumbs up, comment down below, um, subscribe, hit the bell, ding, 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 ding. Um, notifies you as of upcoming videos, doesn't cost you a penny, but it means a lot to me. Um, next thing is um, Rocky Mountain Spider Freaks uh, holding a scavenger, YouTube scavenger hunt. Um, if you're on Instagram, basically you go in, and you've got to basically look through all these YouTube channels and find the answers to questions. Yeah, so I've done one, but I'm not going to uh, show you, tell you what it is. You'll have to find out yourself. Um, but yeah, there's uh, quite a few YouTubers involved. It's a good bit of fun, plus you can win, uh, I think it's keeper cards and a load of um, other different stuff, stuff up for grabs. But please go on to Instagram, Rocky Mountain Spider Freaks. I'll put a little... Um, banner up and if you're on my Instagram just have a look for my photos I'll put the post up there anyway and follow them but yes awesome guys as well please check out their YouTube channel hit that subscribe button and apart from that I think that's it oh yep new um, YouTube channel I just found it's um, mother of mini bass I'll put a link to her channel down below she's a new starter not started out that long so Hit that subscribe button and give her, give her a couple of comments on her videos of Sparrow Rom. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Apart from that, I shall see you later.